this video we're going to look at standard form. Now standard form is just really a method for writing incredibly big numbers, so numbers with lots of zeros on the ends of them, or incredibly small numbers, so that would be like, like a number that would be zero point, and then a whole pile of zeros, and then a few digits. Key thing here is when writing numbers in standard form, they must be in the form a times 10 to the power of n, where a is a number between 1 and 10, and n is a whole number. Now, it can be positive or negative, but it must be a whole number. So we're going to look at how we want to do this. So we're going to express the following numbers in standard form. So the first one is 15,600. So the first thing I want to do is make this a number 1 between 1 and 10. So I'm going to write it as 1.56, and then think what I need to multiply it by. So if you think your 1 would have been here, it's now in the units column, and it needs to move 1, 2, 3, 4 places. So it needs to be 10 to the power of 4. And that is it. Okay, next one, part B. Again, we're going to make it a number between 1 and 10. So 7.86221. So your 7 is now here in the units column, and it needs to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's going to be times 10 to the power of 5. This one is going to be, okay, let's have a look at the first two. They were big numbers, so they're big numbers. The power is positive. You can see the power is positive. For big numbers, these are now going to be small numbers, so the power is going to be negative. So again, we're going to make it a number between 1 and 10, 5.53. And then it's always times 10, and the 5 is here, and this time it needs to go back. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's why it's minus 4. This one, we have got, again, make this number between 1 and 10, so it's 1.20134. And times 10 to the power of, and put your 1 here, and it needs to move back once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times, eight times, nine times, ten times to get to here. So it's times ten to the power of minus ten. We're now going to look at how we can do the reverse of this. So this is when we're starting with uh, numbers in standard form, and we're going to have to put them back into decimal form. First one we have is five times ten to the power of six. So effectively here what we're doing is we're just moving that five uh, six places left. So you've got five and it's moving six places left. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it just becomes uh, five million. So if you imagine the five started here and it's moved once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, you can see how it works. Next example, we're going to have to move. So the five is five, it's 5 5.321 and we're going to have to move the five three places. So it's going to move once, twice, three times. So here your five was here and it moved once, twice, three times. So your answer is just uh, five, 5,321. Okay, this one then we are going to have to, it's going to be making it smaller because we've 10 to the minus two. So this will make the number smaller. So You've got zero point, so your one was here originally, and it's moving back the way, so once and twice, so 0 0.01356, and that is it. So again, you're thinking your one is in the units column now, and then we're moving it two backwards, so we're making it smaller again. Part D, we have to move this nine back five places, so I'm going to put 0 0.00, I'll put my 9 here, it has to move back once, twice, three times, four times, and then it's here five times, so then add in your 3, 5, and 6, and that is you. We are now going to look at how we can use uh, rules of standard form to convert numbers maybe which aren't, aren't in standard form uh, in the standard form. So, uh, first thing, I'm going to look at this example. I'm going to do it slightly different than they've done it here. We're using our rules of indices and our rules of standard form to, to, to sort this one out. So, what we had was 12.56 times 100 cubed. And I'm going to do it slightly differently than them. I have just left the 12.56 as it is. The 100, I'm going to change it to 100 squared, and then cubed. 
and that's just 12.56 times 100 squared cubed will become 100 to the power of 6. Now I'm going to sort out my 12.56, that's 1.256 times 10 to the power of 1, times 10 to the power of 6, and then we can sort that out as 1.256 times 10 to the power of 7. So I've done it ever so slightly differently than they have. Uh, whichever method you prefer, they're both fine. Now we're just going to look at a couple of these examples, how we actually use this method then. So uh, whatever way we want to do them, uh, you can look at the notes, and the may notes may have been done slightly differently, but they're both good methods. So first one here, part A. First of all, I'm going to write it as 1.23, and that was times 10 squared. And then outside, I still have my 10 squared. So I've basically just written that number in the next form, or sorry, in a standard form, that's what I've done here. And then I also had that times 10 squared at the end. So overall, my final answer in standard form is 1.23 times 10 to the power of four. Part B. Part B, we have got uh, 1.69 times 100 cubed. So we're just gonna write that as 1.69, that's fine. So don't touch that, don't mess around with that, please. Your 100 is the same as 10 squared, and then that's being cubed. So that's 1.69 times 10 to the power of six, and that is in standard form. Perfect, because we've got our number between one and 10, and we've got times 10 to the power of something, so it's all good. Okay, part C. First of all, I'm gonna make this, and put this in the standard form, so that's gonna be equal to three times 10 to the, and the threes here, it has to move back once, twice, three times, so 10 to the minus three, and I had times 10 to the minus five, which becomes three times 10 to the minus eight, and that's it. And our last one, I think, we have got, I'll change my 693.55 in the standard form, that'll be 6.9355 times 10 to the power of two, and times my 10 to the minus four, so that's just going to be 6.9355 times 10 to the minus 2 overall. That's your answer in standard form.